Hello everyone and welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the newer traditional knives from Rosecraft Blades. So we'll take a look around the packaging to start with. You can see you have this nice sort of tan coloured box with RCB on the front there, their sort of logo with the rose there. Has Rosecraft and Blades. On the side of the box you've got their website, so rosecraftblades.com. The same on the other side as well. On the end you can see we have the barcode and we're looking at RCT007, the French Broad Jack. And if we look on the back as well, see you have the same barcode there, just slightly larger. I do really like the Rosecraft boxes. They're nice and sturdy, but a bit smaller on the Rough Rider, which is what I really like. And you do have this little pull tab on the end here. So you just slide the box open and then you have the knife presented in this nice sort of foam cutout to keep it safe. And on the bottom of that, you do have the cancer and reproductive warning there as well and China to let you know that it, the country of origin of course these were made in China. So the knife itself does come wrapped in some tissue paper as it does have a carbon steel blade. So here it is this is what we're looking at the French broad jack. You can see we have a close length of what have we got here let me just line that up for you guys. One, two, three, just shy of four, maybe 3.8, 3.9 inches closed. So a decent size slip joint. We do have this absolutely beautiful dyed red bone. We do have the stainless steel rosebud shield bolsters. And I believe they are nickel silver pins holding that all together. Transitions are absolutely beautiful. There is nothing to feel on there at all. It's the only thing you can feel is the different textures from the bone into the stainless steel or the shield. It is wonderfully smooth. Fit and finish on the back springs. I mean, it almost looks like one bit between the steel liners and the spring. There's not an ounce of gapping on there at all. Just look at the fit and finish on that. Isn't it just fantastic? On the reverse of the knife, then you can, again, you can see that wonderful red dyed bone. The different sort of colours, the darker spotted bits, which takes the colour more than other natural bits of the bone. I really do like that. I love it when it's you can sort of see the different colours in the bone rather than just being one solid colour. And again, we do have them steel bolsters either end, just nice and plain. Nothing pinched, no lines, just wonderfully smooth. Hafted absolutely beautifully. I can't feel a single sharp edge on there at all. Just really well done from Rosecraft Blades. So we'll take a look at the blade. So it does have a half stop and we're looking at this really sort of fantastic looking Warncliffe blade. We do have swedging on the top there, pretty much a signature move from Andy Armstrong. He does put a swedge on most, if not all of his knives. And I think on this one, it does look really fantastic. And then a wonderful snap into the open as well. The walk and talk on this is fantastic. Just listen to that. Isn't that just... That's what really, this is the fidget factor of slip joint knives. None of this drop shutty fidget factor, it's the noise. I just, I really enjoy it when it's got like a positive half stop. The lock up is really solid. Just think it's absolutely fantastic. So we do have a nail neck on here to open the blade, but as there's enough of it exposed, you don't really have to worry about it. You can sort of pinch that open. We also have the RCB uh, Rosecraft blades on the on the tang stamp there, nicely etched in. On this, I would sort of say like semi satin blade. It's it's in between being polished and satin, so you can see there's a shine on it, but it's not quite mirror. And on the reverse of there as well, we have Andy Armstrong's designer logo here, D2 steel, which is something I love. I love that about Rosecraft blades, using like a really sort of heavy duty steel or a tough steel. On a traditional knife I just think it's fantastic and then we have RCT 007 of course is the model number now the design of this is not really something I would usually go for it's a very sort of slim design handle but I tell you it's really comfortable in the hand you choke up on that kick and it just fills your hand really well you can get a full four finger grip if you don't want to choke up and you know that even if the blade closes there's plenty of room there for you not to worry that it's going to bite you, that's enough there for it to snap closed. 
and not to be concerned that you're going to get attacked by it. So it's just, I just think it's a really handsome looking knife, especially with that red bone as well. I really do like that. So the Warncliffe blade then, we are looking at a full blade length. If I turn it upside down, it might be a bit easier for me to measure with the highest bit of the bolster being here. I mean, we're bang on that three inch limit for the UK. So that's something I really like to see. And then a cutting edge of, we've got one, two, 2.6 inches. So for me, this is definitely a UK legal knife and definitely a world friendly knife and one I'm really going to carry and put it to the test. I want to see what this thing can do. It's a nice sort of, I would go with like a gentleman's carry. I've got a wedding coming up I'm going to for one of my friends. I think this may be the knife that I carry for that. Very sort of classy looking design and definitely a conversation starter. So as I mentioned, we do have D2 steel on the blade. The edge on it is pretty much perfect as you'd expect. Nice and uniform both sides, not too high. Uh, it just feels absolutely razor sharp. We do have a sharpening torch oil down here as well. And I mentioned that nice Ricasso kick there, which stops on this back pin here, which stops the blade wrapping on the back of the frame. So when you close it, you've got no concerns that there's going to be any blade wrap at all. Just an absolutely fantastic job from Rosecraft Blades. Really enjoy this one. They're finally starting to drop here in the UK. So I did this get, get this from Cyclair uh, Knives and Tools. Um, I really hope to see the Jack and the Barlow dropping soon. That's one of the ones I really want to pick up. But they do have the Okoe River on there. They have this one. They have some of the newer modern ones. Um, the Lockin Knives, that is, the one by Swags. They also have the Doctor's Surgeon Knife on there as well. I might possibly pick that one up. But really looking forward to those Barlows and the Jack Knives when they arrive. So there we go, guys. That's my review of the Rosecraft Blades RCT007. That is the French Broad Jack in this wonderful, I'm going to call it Cherry Red Bone, because as for me, that is all like a red wine bone. Absolutely fantastic job from them. The quality is bang on. The fit and finish is perfect. I just really hope they keep producing knives of this quality and bringing us what we want as collectors and knife enthusiasts. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Come and check me out again. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.